what's up everybody welcome to your second tutorial for electron building cross-platform apps and in this tutorial what i'm going to do is show you how you can set up electron to start working with it so let's get started so first of all what you need to do is install node.js if you do not have that because electron will be actually using node a lot because that's pretty much that's how JavaScript is used by Electron with the help of Node.js, right? So if you do not have Node, you can go to Node.js.org and uh, download the recommended release or you can just download the latest release. But I'll just go with recommended and I already have that installed, so I'm going to go with neither. But if you do not have Node installed, you can just go ahead with this one or whatever the latest one is at your time okay so once you have done that what you should get additionally is npm which is node package manager and uh, once that is once you have installed node just go to your command line and your folder wherever you are starting or actually it doesn't matter you can just open command line anywhere because you're going to install electron globally so that we can make use of electron all over on our PC instead of just limiting to one project, one folder. So we're gonna say npm install electron and then use a global flag and enter. Now this would install electron globally, but I'm gonna just quit this because I already have electron installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. So you would just like you would want this installation to complete, it might take a couple of minutes. Um, depending upon your internet connection but once it's done what you need to do is uh, create an app right so we can pretty much go to our file explorer and create a folder let's just say this is hello world which would be our app and inside here what we can say or rather we could just use command line as well you we can say hello world and uh, we can just say npm init which would just create a package.json file for us and if i can just move it a little bit up okay so now we have this in package.json file but we need a couple of more files to write a simple stable hello world program right so let's just go ahead and create one now so the first one would be um, index.js and the second one would be um, index.html obviously which is which will be our view right so these three files are pretty much what you need to get started with electron and that is all you need the f number of files you need to write your very first GUI hello world program with web technologies like javascript so that is all for this one and in the next tutorial what we're going to take a look is how you can write a hello world program with electron really quick so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one